ceruloplasmin this is a plasma protein and it is it is an alpha 2 globulin okay it is an acute phase protein an acute phase protein is a plasma protein so they are the plasma protein which increases to several fold during inflammatory conditions and neoplastic conditions okay so that is acute phase protein this ceruloplasmin is blue in color and in males it is the reference blood level of ceruloplasmin in males is 20 to 40 in milligram per deciliter okay males it is 20 to 40 whereas in female there is a slight increase 25 to 60 milligram per deciliter in females there is estrogen estrogen this estrogen increases the ceruloplasmin concentration in blood that is why the female is having high amount, uh, slight increase in ceruloplasmin level when females are using oral contraceptives so when females who are using oral contraceptives they will have a concentration of 27 to 66 milligram per deciliter when we uh, in during pregnancy the cellular plasmin level will be slightly increased during pregnancy it is 30 to 120 milligram per deciliter so now discussing about the sources of ceruloplasmin from the majority is from liver parenchyma cells majority is produced from liver parenchyma cells it is also produced from macrophages and lymphocytes The ceruloplasmin is also called as ferroxidase. Okay, it is because the iron will be combining with a transferrin molecule with the help of the enzyme ferroxidase. Ferroxidase is helping. So ceruloplasmin is also called as ferroxidase. Ferroxidase. Ceruloplasmin is an antioxidant in plasma it is an antioxidant in plasma now 90 percentage of copper is bound with a ceruloplasmin the 10 percentage of copper is bind, bound with a globulin but the binding with this globulin is not that much uh, strong that means the major transport protein for copper the major transport protein for copper is albumin because sorry no, so sorry the 10 percentage of copper is bind, bound with albumin so the major transport protein for copper transport is albumin because uh, Albumin is a protein which dissociate and give copper to the tissues. The ceruloplasmin is a complete glycoprotein. Okay. At first, the peptide part is formed, which is apoceruloplasmin. Then, copper is added with the help of intracellular. ATPase with the help of intracellular ATPase copper is added and then carbohydrate side chain is added side chain is added to make a complete glycoprotein which is holoceruloplasmin it forms a complete glycoprotein holoceruloplasmin here I would like to highlight a point that if there is a defect in the gene which is encoding this intracellular ATPase copper binding ATPase in the cell if there is a 
genetic mutation it leads to wilson's disease it leads to wilson's disease or called wilson hepatolenticular degeneration hepatolenticular degeneration okay this is an autosomal autosomal recessive disease this i will be discussing more later about the wilson hepatolenticular degeneration lower level of ceruloplasmin is found in malnutrition during malnutrition during nephrosis during cirrhosis and during wilson disease wilson's disease okay the high level of ceruloplasmin is found at at active hepatitis biliary cirrhosis biliary cirrhosis hemo hemochromatosis 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 means iron overload okay this is iron overload obstructive biliary diseases obstructive biliary diseases and during estrogen therapy because estrogen will increase estrogen therapy when you are using some estrogen uh, the level of ceruloplasmin level will be increased during inflammatory conditions inflammatory conditions as i have mentioned uh, previously that the macrophages will also produce ceruloplasmin during inflammatory conditions the level of ceruloplasmin will be high then comes the collagen disorders and during malignancies okay these are the condition in where the plasma ceruloplasmin level are increased so certain drugs there are certain drugs which increases the ceruloplasmin level that is estrogens plus Uh, the drugs uh, which are used for contraceptive that means contraceptive drugs contraceptive drugs the ceruloplasmin contains 6 to 8 copper atoms per molecule okay now discussing about its clinical features clinical features so the copper will accumulate in liver to cause when it accumulate in liver it causes hepatocellular degeneration which eventually lead to liver cirrhosis okay it will deposit in brain especially the basal ganglia it will deposit the copper will deposit in brain especially in the basal ganglia and it causes lenticular degeneration lenticular degeneration and thus it will leads to certain neurological symptoms will be manifested now there is a uh, manifestation which is called uh, kaiser fleischer ring kaiser fleischer ring fleischer ring that means around the cornea you can see a green or golden colored ring like here you can see a green or golden colored ring around the cornea so this is a clinical manifestations now is treatment so we just uh, we have to use uh, for the treatment of uh, treatment purpose we have to use diet which are containing less copper we must consume diet which contains less copper then second one use of d penicillamine d penicillamine so d penicillamine will bind to copper and it will uh, get excreted through the urine hence copper is decreased now zinc since uh, the zinc will decreases the copper absorption so zinc is useful in this therapy wilson disease is manifested when the level of ceruloplasmin is less than 20 mg per deciliter so the genetic mutation Uh, which uh, where the gene which produces copper binding atps copper binding atps so the mutation in these genes 
so due to this mutation the copper is not excreted from cells copper is not excreted from cells hence it will lead to copper toxicity the copper concentration of copper will increase and it will lead to toxicity copper toxicity so when the copper content is increased in liver cells when the copper content is increased in liver cells the copper which must which uh, must bind with the apo ceruloplasmin will decrease so this binding will not occur when the copper uh, when there is copper toxicity so the ceruloplasmin level in blood will be decreased okay